Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and today what we're going to try out is free-for-all random battles. You can play this on Showdown. You take the quick and easy setup of random battles and the fun, intricate play of free-for-all. Free-for-all, there's four people in the field, all battling one another. And you can see here, we are going to lead off with Gardevoir. We've got a Chiyu, a Glaceon, and Rillaboom on the field. And looking down here... Got some decent Pokemon. Nothing out of the, like, really stand out, though. And I have a Choice Scarf. I think. Hmm. I'm going to click Dazzling Gleam. You're, you're going to see the Rillaboom target me. That's not fun. We're going to just do some damage across the field. We're going to see... Blizzard from Glaceon taking out that Rillaboom. Listen, Rillaboom just got punished for targeting Gardevoir there. Like, seriously. Like, went directly for Gardevoir. So now that that is taken care of, what are we going to do next? I like the idea of just going into Noctowl. But I want that thing gone first. And I've got quite a few things weak to uh, Ice. All right, so Shadow Ball onto Gardevoir. Okay, okay, guys, that's fun. Target my Gardevoir. <clears throat> All right, and we see Shiyu going and setting up Chandelier here, really helping out the Chandelier. All right, um, I think I have to go Murkrow. Because I think I need to click Haze because... Or, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go Murkrow here. I'll click... Tailwind. Hmm. Um, yeah, we'll just click Tailwind. Give us the speed advantage. Infernape's going to come out. We're going to see Tinkaton come out. Tailwind. There we go. Liquidation. Oh, Infernape just stepping right into that. My buddy over here has two fire types. Uh, let's go ahead and Brave Bird the Infernape, right? Yeah, I'm just going to click Brave Bird because Infernape will go down. And really... This guy up here is the only person that has not has not lost a Pokemon yet. But if even if he switches, what kind of help out in taking down his uh, Pokemon? I think that is probably the best the best course of action. All right, going to fake out the Murkrow, dude. Why? Well, I guess it didn't matter, because he lost his own Infernape anyway. Uh, but Tinkaton here faking out my Murkrow, who has not done anything to her. All right, I'm fine with that. In fact... I'm going to click Protect, because it seems like Tinkaton's wanting to go after my Murkrow here. Ah, yeah, yeah, you are. Trying to go for that. Um, I don't have any sort of field things that can help out, you know, getting this off the field. But I can Brave Bird Vespaquin. Trying to knock... Listen, I haven't done anything to you, Tinkaton. I don't know why you're going after me. I'm trying to help us out. You're trying to go after my... Bur yeah, and this was the person that went after my Gardevoir first turn. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I'm just trying to, you know, clear out the field a little bit. All right, well, that's fine. Oh, and missed the heat wave. All right, let's see here. Um, I 
I really can't do much with Murkrow, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to click Brave Bird at the Tinkaton. Alright, my cargo goes for Protect. Just get some chip on it. Yeah, that's what you get for attacking me. You tried to attack me again. I think, I think it'd be worth getting a Tailwind right now. That way, if Tinkaton takes out my Murkrow, that's okay. Murkrow has left a beautiful... Beautiful uh, uh, Tailwind for me to keep on the field. Now, that is the thing I want to take care of. So, if you don't mind, Tinkaton, go after the Chiyu. Go after that, because that is the threat right there. To you is the threat on the field. And Murkrow will go down. Tinkaton goes down. I'm fine with that. But now... I want to keep my Como in the back. Because that's going to be my win condition, I feel. Or the main Pokemon I'm going to go into at the end of the game. We'll go into Noctowl here. I don't want to go into something that makes me the target. I want to make it look like I don't really have much to bring. And I'll Hurricane the Toxicroak because it's weak. And plus, that guy was the guy that went after me first turn. When I had a Gardevoir on the field, I wasn't even a threat to that person. <clears throat> I was using all of my energy to go after the Chi Yu. Oh, Macargo and Garchomp. This guy's like, hey, peace treaty. No peace treaties. There we go. Nice. What's Macargo going to do? Power gem? Oh, I hope the Garchomp clicks uh, Earthquake. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going to click Protect here. Kind of let things sit. Ah! <laughs> the Garchomp went Rock Slide onto the Macargo. And flinched him out. Okay, I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. I'm clicking Hurricane at that Macargo. That's what I'm doing. Clicking Hurricane towards that Macargo. Ah. Alright, Venomoth is the threat. Have at it. Listen, I'm going to step back. Just let Venomoth do whatever Venomoth is going to do. Hopefully, that guy does not target me pretty hard at targeting me this whole playthrough. Yeah, we'll go ahead and protect. Rock slide! Take out that Macargo, please. Oh, he missed. And he's going to hit his own buddy. And he's going to burn the Garchomp. He's saying let's team, but he's the one doing the damage. He's the one doing the damage. Let's Tailwind. Let's go ahead and try to get a Tailwind going. Nah, Noctowl won't get to do it, so... Noctowl goes down. Hmm. What other move? Probably Bug Buzz. I'm going to go into Gastrodon here. Going to my bulkier mines. Fortunately, we, we're going to get poisoned no matter what. But I can clear smog. This thing. Make it a little bit easier for us to uh, handle. I think that's really the best bet. 
reduce that special attack and special defense that it's got out there. I don't want it to have that. You can see Simp over there trying to get uh, an alliance with Leroy. WB Leroy. I don't want that to happen. Garchomp. Who is the bear? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of that Garchomp. Oh. I should have went ahead against the Venomoth, I guess. Oh well. Um. Let's see here. What can I do? I'm, I'm going to kind of... You see, I'm using my more defensive bonds to make me look less like a threat. So that way... So that way it's going to be less likely for them to go after me. I'm going to use Muddy Water here. I'll have a chance to lower accuracy. And I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine with that. We're going to miss the Belly Bolt, but we do hit the Masquerade, which is nice. Uh, Masquerade really being a problem for us. Oh, uh, you... Okay, I'm going to click Earth Power at the Belly Bolt. That's what I want to do. Oh, there's a Tailwind. Energy Ball at me. Friend, I'm trying to help you out. There's a belly bolt there. There's a full-on belly bolt. That's a huge threat for both of us. And you're going to target me? Alright, I'm going to protect this first turn. I wanted to get rid, you know, get rid of that belly bolt. Now you have at it. You can't break through that belly bolt. Belly bolt is such a bulky Pokemon. And uh, our friend here has made sure that we're not going to be able to break through it. So thank you, Chandelier. I want to protect. Psycho Cut! Onto the Belly Bolt. Delay takes an Energy Ball. Thunder Wave onto Chandelier. Okay. Let's go ahead and Drain Punch. The bolt. Yeah, so I'm gonna not get that drain punch off. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> he's got a legendary, guys. I think it's obvious who we go after. There's only one person on this field that's got a legendary. There's one person on this field that's got a legendary, and it's not me. All right, let's see here. So, we'll protect. Just let this turn play out the way it's going to play out. Because I feel like I'm going to be a target, especially by the Glade. I don't know why the Glade's targeting me specifically, but it is. So we're going to just kind of let this turn play out. You now everyone's going to try to see where the Glade goes. Yeah, see, it's going after me. The Glade's coming after me. We're just going to do a clangling... Wait. We're going to do Klingor Soul. We need to go all out here. Is what we need to do. Yeah, Psycho Cut. I'm fine. Do it. Alright, give me a big old stat boost on everything. Alright, and this is it. Clangling Scales. This is this if this does not one shot everyone, which I honestly doubt it will, but uh, if it doesn't, then we automatically lose. 
going to become a grass type. You're going to protect. You see, you just gave the guy with the Roaring Moon the win by going after Kuma O. If they didn't do that, I would at least have one more turn that I could go and attack this thing. But I was the target by Leroy up here. Leroy was specifically targeting my Pokemon. So that was fun, guys. Let's grab another one of those battles. I love these free-for-alls. I've always wanted to do free-for-alls. It's uh, like kind of a game mode that you have to have four people willing to do the free-for-all. Of course, in Sun and Moon, they added, you know, the free-for-all style battle. But it wasn't as good as the ones the fans created back in Gen 6. Where people just went into a multi-battle and had the understanding, hey, this is a free-for-all. The game is saying this person over here is your partner. That's not necessarily the case in this playthrough. So I'm glad to see it here. Not only that, but this is random battles. You just jump in. I'm going to be the target. No, Shin Pao is going to be the big target because it's a legendary. I've got a legendary, but this is the bigger, 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 bigger threat. Go ahead and get rocks up. Actually, let me look. Do I have a switch? I have Arceus. Okay, well, I've got Arceus in the back. Keep that in mind. I want to put rocks up. Shinpao luckily does not go after me. So now rocks are on the field. That's going to help us out in the long run. That's the main thing I wanted, and we've got it. So... I'm going to keep, listen, I'm going to keep that Arceus in the back until the very, very, very end. Because if I reveal it, the moment I reveal it, I become the target. We'll go ahead and U-turn against the Lorantis because it's boosted up its attack and defense. <clears throat> I mean, Ogie Doki is technically a legendary too. But I do feel like this thing here setting up is going to become a bigger threat. And I don't like the fact that... That it's becoming a bigger threat on the field. So we'll go ahead. Bloop. You turn out. And I'll be fine. Alright. You turn out. Uh, let's get a Pokemon in here that's going to make us not a target. And it's going to be Oinkalone. No one's going to go after this little pig here. Because it's not a threat at all. In fact, I'll even protect. Whoever targets me is going to get punished for targeting me by wasting their turn. That's the plan. They're going to waste a turn by targeting me. Listen, Gliscor is out here. Gliscor, I believe, is the bigger threat now. Gliscor has the ability to heal itself. It can set up with uh, Swords Dance. It is one of those Pokemon that is just so, 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 so strong. All right. Everyone's going to protect except Ogie Dogie, who's going to target me? You're going to target me, Ogie Dogie? I'm going to take care of that. I'm, listen, I'm going to take care of that. You want to target me? That's fine. We'll do this the old fashioned way. We'll do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, drain punch, get nothing back. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. Listen, stomping tantrum on Ogie Dogie. We'll take care of this. Well, we'll take care of this. Oh, you want to target me? That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead, target me. Facade onto my Landorus. That trick room. Oh, gosh. Um, let's go back into Oinkalone. We'll just kind of uh, chill out with our Oinkalone out here on the field. I'm going to keep... I'm going to try to, you know, send out Pokemon that are weaker, therefore make me less of a target. That's that's kind of my play in these free-for-alls. Because if you send out a super, super, super strong Pokemon, you're immediately going to become the target for everyone. Honestly, if these guys knew I had this in the back, they'd probably forget whatever squabbles they had amongst each other and they would just go after me. I'll go ahead and yawn at the Trevenant. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Gengar. That's a nice that's a nice thing to put to sleep. Yeah, get that Gly score with an icy wind. Yeah, okay. We're targeting the Gly score. Double edge the Gly score. Gly score is the threat. <clears throat> I'm sorry your Gengar is going to be a put to sleep for coming out here, but listen. Gly score is the threat. If we cannot agree on that, then we're not Pokemon battlers. Gliscor can heal itself. It is bulky, and it has the opportunity to set up its attack and just steamroll everything on the field. And that's what this thing is trying to do. All right, double edge. All right, everybody that Gliscor. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And you can see, you can get a sense of how these free-for-alls work. When someone is setting up like that, they become the target because they have a chance to destroy everyone on the field. So it's best not to set up unless you know at the end that you're going to have a better chance of winning. And it looks like Corn Doggy Dog just disconnected. So if they don't reconnect within a minute, they automatically are eliminated from this. And that's a shame because he had some good Pokemon. Lorantis can set up. Uh, he had Gliscor that can do a lot. So he was doing really good. It's a shame that he's going to rage quit because his Gliscor, who was obviously the biggest threat amongst all of us, was targeted down. Listen, if I had if I sent Arceus out here, the same thing would have happened to me. Everyone else would stop what they're doing and just try to get me out because I've got an Arceus in the in the game. I want to double edge the gold duck now. Take care of that gold duck. It's gonna encore. What moved it? Oh, it went for trick. We'll go ahead and finish off this gold duck here. I don't think it can come back in because of the stealth rocks anyway. So even if my opponent switches, I've got a knockout in my name. And there we go. Gold duck goes down. Now, Bronzong can either have Levitate or Heatproof. I mean, Heavy Metal's obviously is there too, but you're not going to go with that. You're going to go with Levitate or Heatproof. Bitter Blade. And it's going to eat a berry. I don't have anything to do on this Bronzong. So I'm just going to yawn, put it to sleep. We'll go into Landorus for some nice Intimidates, I guess. I mean, Bronzong will be asleep. Um, I don't want to reveal any more Pokemon that I have. Maybe I should, though. Reveal another one of my weaker Mons. I think I should. I'm going to go into Dedene. Reveal that I've got that thing there, which isn't going to do much for us. Oh, and you went close combat on me, friend. You just hurt yourself on that one. Let's go ahead and nuzzle the Sneasler. Slow that thing down. There we go. And you just switch items. Let's see. Kaparaja now has a choice ban. That's not good. But you're stuck with an assault vest, and you're not going to be able to do that ever again, my friend. So... But I can get an Intimidate in here. I think that's good for me. Just get in here, get a nice Intimidate on everyone. You crash into Sneasler. And I'm going to click U-Turn. I'm just going to click Stomping Tantrum, because Copperaja will live that. Yeah. And that gives you a chance to finish off Trevenant, too. I knew Copperaja would live that, because Copperaja is actually a pretty bulky Pokemon. Knowing that, it's going to live that, so I'm going to just be able to chip it down, and then decide what I want to do afterwards. And... Yeah, we've got Gengar, who is asleep. 
Sneasler, who's paralyzed. Honestly, I don't think Bronzong would have fell asleep if it stayed in because of Sleep Claws. I don't know how Sleep Claws works with uh, free-for-all battles. So, I don't know. But, <clears throat> just know that Oink alone is still there. It can still do some work. I'm gonna. I'm, so far, I've just showed off my weakest mons. I do have Basculin too, who I can show off to make people think, okay, this guy's got nothing. Little do they know, there is a literal god of Pokemon on my team waiting in the back. So as soon as you know, I have everything cleared out, or everyone weakened to the point where. We can bring out Arceus. Well, and Arceus just wins. Just automatically wins. But until then, Arceus is just going to hide out in the back. I don't want them to know that I've got such a powerhouse on my team. Really, when they're looking at my team right now, they're just seeing Landorus and thinking Landorus is my powerhouse. I keep going back into Landorus. I keep going back into Oink alone. He really doesn't have much options, does he? He's got to go into this pig that's pretty weak. He has to go into Dedenne. Look at that. Soon they're going to say, oh, he's got a, a Basculin? What's, how's he going to win? There's no way. But yeah, Garchomp Bro has 20 seconds, or they get eliminated due to inactivity. Just like Corny Dog Dog did. Corny Doggy Dog kind of just disconnected, though. Garchomp Bro is just sitting there. And they are eliminated. So now it's just a one-on-one -on -one battle. It might not look like a traditional one-on-one -on -one battle, but it actually is. So yeah, it's literally just me and Phoenix now. Low Kicks comes out. We're going to go ahead and bring out Dedenne. Ooh, who gets critted? That's not very effective, but we got critted. Going to Basculin, we will... Who's faster? I'm faster. We'll wave crash. Go all out offensive. Boom. Okie dokie. We're faster than okie dokie. So we're going to smack this thing down, hopefully one-shot it. So I'm hoping, yeah. We win, listen, we win with Basculin. We don't even need the Arceus. We didn't even need Arceus. Arceus just kind of sat back there. We won with our weaker Mons plus Landorus. And there it is. There was the free-for-all. Really good game. It's fun. It's a totally different feel than, you know, traditional Pokemon battling. Because not only are you thinking of trying to help your Pokemon increase their chances of winning, but you're also trying to think of ways to decrease yourself from becoming that target that everyone turns their attention to. And remember, if you've got a Legendary, keep that thing in the back until the very end. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next Pokemon video.